Hey, what's up, flower children? It's your girl, Nayoka Nadi, and I'm here to talk to you about Irish sea moss. Now, Dr. Sebi recommended using Irish sea moss in your diet. Why? Because Irish sea moss contains 92 essential minerals for your body. Irish sea moss can flush your system out of toxins. It can prevent colds. Sea moss is very, very high in iodine, okay? It has magnesium, and it has all the nutrients that your body needs to flush out toxins. You can also put sea moss gel on your face, okay? On cuts, all right? It's very medicinal and healing. It can lower your risk of getting cancer. It can improve your thyroid function, okay? It's one of the best uh, foods that you can use. It's a seaweed, it's algae, okay? It grows naturally. And I've been using it for a while now and I've seen that I don't experience colds as much anymore, okay? I might get a little sniffly, but I don't actually go into the whole cold situation, okay? Irish sea moss is antiviral, okay? It can prevent flu. It can prevent infections, okay? And it builds your system up, okay? Irish sea moss is good, especially if you're doing a vegan or raw food diet, okay? It can make you feel full so that you don't overeat, okay? Um, as you all know, cancer, as well as any other disease, has affected all of us in one form or the other. I know my family has experienced run-ins with cancer a lot, okay? And I'm trying to make sure that it skips this generation, me, okay? I do not want that. So scientists and researchers recommend that you have a, I'm sorry, they recommend that you eat a whole food diet. If you eat a whole food diet, then you can cut your rate of being infected by the disease by 40 to 90 percent okay so I'm trying to monitor my diet in order to make sure that I am preventing any type of disease okay and I'm trying to restore my body to full health okay as you grow older we pick up little ailments and it's important that we become more preventative and we become healers for ourselves Okay, we don't need to take medicine all the time. We can eat food. Food can be our medicine. Okay, and that's been my whole mantra is eat better. Eat better foods. Okay, the more I eat better, the more healthy medicine I get. Natural medicine I get. And sea moss is high on my list. Okay, so I'm going to show you all how I make iris sea moss and... I learned on YouTube. So this is me giving back to the YouTube community and showing how I do it. So I'm going to show you where I get sea moss. All right. I live in Baltimore City. So I'm going to show you where I go to get my sea moss. All right. I may include an online link of where I can buy it online. And I'm going to show you the two types of sea moss that I make. All right. We have number one, number two. As you can see, they're both a little bit different and I'll show you right now okay I'm now pulling up to the Caribbean market it's right here on Liberty Heights okay if you're from Baltimore you're definitely gonna recognize this area all right this is the Caribbean market for West Indians African and Latino Okay, you can find most of the goods and foods from back home right here at this Caribbean market. It's a lot of good foods and goods in here. Oh, I got the Trini Parata, the roti.
this is my childhood snack right here. So good. I might have to get one. All right, so let's get to why I'm really here. I'm here today to get some Irish sea moss, and I'm also here to get some sour sop. Okay. This is the section right here. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk all about sea moss. We're gonna talk all about sour sop. So let me just grab them and get out of here. Here's the sea moss. I'm gonna get it's $7.99. It's better than getting it online for me. It's a lot cheaper. So I got my Irish sea moss, $7.99. And then they have a whole bunch of herbs, herbs and herbs you can get. Eucalyptus, okay, sage. And here's what I need, sour sop, okay. They even have moringa leaf, which I think I'm going to pick up because I need to know how to use this as well. Okay, so you see, I have my sea moss with me. All right, this is supposed to be a great brand of sea moss right here in Baltimore. Okay, all right. So first I'm gonna, of course, take it out the wrapper, throw it in here and wash it out with regular water. Okay, step one. I'm not gonna use all the sea moss. I'm just gonna do about a cup all right so let me get my measuring cup all right cool Ooh, i got my measuring cup i'm only gonna do i guess like two cups cmos makes a lot all right so you don't even need a lot to get a lot so that looks cool let's add a little bit more all right it has a high yield all right so i'm gonna take about that it looks like about two cups Pour it in. All right. Run the water. Okay. There's two ways that I make sea moss. One, I boil it with cinnamon, and the other one, I just let it soak with lime. So, I've heard a lot of people say that you're not supposed to boil your sea moss. But I actually don't think that's a problem. So I like both ways. But today I'm definitely gonna try just letting it soak overnight. Alright. See? It's gonna get a lot bigger than this. Alright. <laughs> it's pretty cool. This lime is gonna hang out with the sea moss for the majority of the time, all of the time. Gonna put this lime with the moss. Okay. Squeeze it, squeeze it. I'm gonna let this sit overnight and we should have sea moss that's ready to blend. Okay, so I washed out my second batch and I'm just gonna put it to soak for about 20 minutes. Okay, so my sea moss has been soaking for about 20, 25 minutes and now I'm about to boil it. All right, so I filled up about two cups of water in my and you let that sit for about 10 minutes. All right. Look 
at all that steam. Alright, this is what it looks like now. And you let it sit inside of the gel for a day. You let this sit overnight. Hi, Poopy. Good morning. <laughs> what are you trying to do, Boo Boo? Trying to eat. Okay, it's been over 12 hours. Time to take the CMOS out. See what it looks like. I actually didn't want to keep it in that long. It smells good. I suggest you keep the CMOS for about six to eight hours. Okay, so here's gel number one. Okay. So I took it out the refrigerator and then I put all the substance into the blender. Added just a touch of water because I actually threw some of the liquid out. So next time I won't do that. Next time I'll keep all the liquid from the bowl and then I'll pour it all in the blender. But I poured a bit of the liquid out and then put it in the blender and added water, okay? So once again, this is what the gel looks like once you put it in the blender, okay? And that is coagulating. It's sitting together nicely. It's forming a nice gel. I'm gonna just wanna make sure smoothies a lot sweeter and tastier, okay? And this gel, you can put this on your skin, okay? But I'm actually going to make a smoothie with this one, all right? I don't have any bananas, so we're gonna see how that smoothie turns out.